Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are here to talk to you about the brand new Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder Blush. That's right, from the same people who brought you a few seasons ago, the Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder Highlighter. They're doing it in a blush now. Now let's take a little bit of a step back and let you know that we are in the middle of a blush storm here at Not Fit for Print Beauty and indeed the entire beauty industry. This week is going to be almost, almost primarily devoted to blushes. Um, this Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder Blush um, is finally here in the States. You might have seen it reviewed elsewhere because it yeah, it kind of landed in a few different spots before it got here. But we also have the brand new Patrick Ta uh, Cream and Powder Duo blushes coming this week. There's a new cream blush from Mario coming this week, and probably another one. I don't know. We got a lot. Of, we got. A, we have at least three blushes, and maybe I'm leaving one out. So hey, we're going to be blush heavy this week, and that means we need to turn the screen blush. Yeah, that's what I'm doing for blushes because it feels kind of like the year of the blush. I don't know, it's the, it's the year of so many things. So let's talk about this. These little guys are $43 each. There are six shades. I have purchased two, um, and we'll show you them in just a moment. I have pick, pick, uh, purchased the Flannel Rubies, so uh, the Ruby Flannel, and I, have pick, uh, and I have purchased the Taffeta Rosé. The Taffeta Rosé is kind of a vivid pink, and the Flannel Rubies is kind of a brick red shade, and we are going to try them both on and swatch them. Just like the Loose Powder Highlighter, which I'm actually wearing a little bit of here, uh, this is going to open up. It's a little tricky for someone like me. <laughs> I am holding, um, I'm holding the Ruby right now, the Rubies right now, and it has a little puff which can actually accidentally there make the little Givenchy G's, which is kind of nice. And you can apply it with the puff, or you can turn it over into the cap and then apply it with a brush, which I actually prefer. So I think we'll use the brush today. Now the way this works is we have four different colors. I don't know if you can see that here. We have four different colors of loose powder blush which eat with each so each of these six has four unique colors and when you flip it over and you know I suppose you could try to be super duper careful and just get one shade but the whole point of it actually is that you flip it over and the shades mix to become their own unique shade is it gimmicky is it marketing could they have just mixed it for us perhaps will some people pick and choose their shade with a small brush Perhaps, but you know, the idea of it is that they mix to form their own pretty shade. If I didn't say these are $43 each, uh, and they supposedly have a 12 hour radiance. So these are supposed to be very radiant blushes. I like the idea of a loose powder. I like loose powder for setting. And I think for most blushes, we are all used to set, you know, kind of a formed powder in a pan, kind of like eyeshadow would be. So to have it in loose powder, okay, maybe it's a little bit of a gimmick, but I certainly think it's a fun one. So I have two here, and the good Lord above gave me two cheeks, so let's just make ourselves a little bit uneven, make myself a little bit uneven, and try them both on. First we have the Flannel Rubis, which is kind of a brick red shade, and it's going to go against the pink shade, so I'm going to be very different here. As I showed you, this little puff is so cute. It's in the highlighter too, if you have the highlighter. Um, and I'm going to take that out, actually. Um, I like it, but I'm going to take it out. And then there's a little bit of a um, Rubik's Cube type test to get the uh, top back on. And I'm just going to shake it upside down. And I'm doing this a lot because I really want to have it over applied so you can see the shade. I promise you I won't wear it like this out in public. I promise. I'm going to over apply it. So I've got two different brushes here, both by Sonia G. And we're going to start with the um, Lotus cheek brush. I'm just going to put this, I'm going to get it nice and coated here. And the first thing I should do, I'm going to put it on my cheeks, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I do want to show you this. Here it is with all four shades kind of mixed together on my arm. Isn't that a pretty blush shade? We'll take that outside actually in a moment. Let's do the pink too while I'm at it here. I'm going to go ahead and take out that pretty little sponge. And you know if you're traveling, I can see you could use the sponge certainly. 
Okay, let's shake that upside down. I'll take those outside in a moment too. That will get, and you can see all four shades will be in there. This is a luminous. Here's that pink, because of course it's Barbie, Barbie summer, right? There's that pink shade right there, the rosé, the taffeta rosé. Okay, leave it darker for you so you can really see it. We're going to really load up the cheeks, but I'll go right now um, to a swatch. I'll take this arm right outside into the warm. California Sunshine. Take a look at those two shades out there. The Flannel Rubis on the left and the Taffetas Rosé on the right. I had to pick up that pink shade. Okay, I was getting ahead of myself, but we're back to basics now. Too many blushes, not enough cheeks, not enough time. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now this is this brick red shade, this ruby shade. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit of it on. The nice thing about this is as a loose powder, you will see it poof in the air a little bit. If my camera's picking that up, you're not going to avoid that with a with a, a loose powder. I am way over applying, so please do not think that I'm that this is a tutorial. It's certainly not. I just want to give you a really good idea of what the shade looks like and how luminous it is. Now I do have a little bit actually of that Givenchy Prisme Libre loose powder highlighter on, but just a little bit. This does have a very, it's very natural looking because it starts as a loose powder. Now those of you who suffer from migraines or allergies, we have a tiny, tiny tiny bit of a perfumey scent, but it's very vague and dissipates very quickly. All right, let's even make this darker here. The nice thing about this is it's radiant. Okay, again, forgive me, very, very heavy application so that you can see the shade. Um, it's radiant, but being a loose powder, it lays on the skin really nicely. And though it has this kind of a lasting radiance, it doesn't really accentuate any sort of pores or texture certainly less than others would do. Um, and again, radiance is usually bad for that, um, but this really isn't. All right, let's get a nice clean brush here. I wanna try some on the eyes too, but let's get a nice clean brush and go into this uh, rosé, this taffetas rosé. And I am, you do, you know, if you really pick and choose carefully, you could get just one shade, but I'm gonna do as they say and just kind of blend them all into one sweet pink shade which is very of the moment, a little bit more faint. And again, you can really, I'm really piling this on. If I don't, you guys just really won't be able to see the shade. What pretty blush though. This is a winner. It's a little bit different in its delivery as well. And perhaps that's gimmicky, but it's keeping my interest, that's for sure. Okay. So I really heavily applied that. I think I applied this one a little bit heavier, but I, I'm uneven anyway. So what do you think? There's that brick red shade, getting a, good, getting a good idea of what that would look like, and the pink shade. What if I were to take a Sony G brush, another one, and just kind of put this on my eyes? Um, to me, I've said this many times, everything is a face palette. Uh, what I mean by that is, if you're gonna let, if you're gonna give me a powder that I can stick a brush into, I wanna put it on my eyes too. And maybe it's because the trend lately isn't for very complicated eye looks. Maybe that's what it is. I just love a nice blush on the eye. And then I could even take some of that highlighting loose powder and put that, since it's here, let's do it. Yeah, I did the red on both eyes. Might as well make the eyes even. I just love the way, if you look at this side without the pink, the way that pulls everything together, even though I have massive amounts of that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the highlighter same same concept into kind of onto the eye and into the corner of the eye and i just think it makes a really nice staying keeping it in the givenchy family there really pretty okay now we don't have a finished look we have a pretty lopsided look but i hope you can see the two colors let's really over exaggerate even more uh, that pink shade, there you go. Now you can really see what that looks like. And of course there's four more shades. I think this is a pretty blush. I think it's a fun blush. I like the concept and the delivery. Is it a little bit messy? Maybe, maybe. Um, you know, could you use, pick and choose one of the four shades if you're careful with a small brush? I'm sure you could. 
I don't know, I just dump it over and I use it at home. I'm not gonna throw it in my bag though. Um, I do find closing it can be a little bit tricky, but I think that's more of a Rebecca's a klutz issue than a Givenchy design <laughs> issue. I really do. But I think these are absolutely beautiful blushes. I've uh, waited quite a while to get them in my little hands and I'm happy that I have them now. But boy, do we have a lot of blushes coming out. Like I said, I've got two more big releases just this week alone, you guys. So definitely stay here for blushes. But we've also also got, I just wanted you to know, I've got the Bobbi Brown skin tint coming out this week as well that we're going to talk about. I have new Sydney Grace is coming up. We have new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks coming up. I have so much, I don't even know where to begin. This channel, I'm looking over here, this channel is just buzzing. We're going to look at the new Tatcha. Uh, Tatcha has some new cleanser out and Fluorasis has new a new whole cleansing system. Oh, I am so busy here. I can't even take a breath. So busy that my cheeks are lopsided with blush. I don't know. Tell me what you think. What blush are you purchasing? What review are you waiting to see? And did you uh, pick these up if you're not here in, a, in the U.S. and you were able to get these Givenchy earlier? What do you think of this little four powder system? Too messy for you? Or do you like it? Curious what your thoughts are because you know that's what makes us a community. So definitely let me know below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to grow. Come say a big hello over on TikTok, Instagram, and now on Threads. And don't forget that you can become a bigger member of this community by becoming a channel member for behind the scenes coolness and all sorts of of cool gossipy weekly members only lives but in any way that you choose to be here please know that I am thrilled to see you and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video which will probably be about blush <laughs> Bye -bye.